Hey guys, so in today's Manny Monday episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create these Louis Vuitton nails using Pushy Nail Design water decals. So let's get right into the video. So I'm actually doing these nails on my dominant hand, meaning I'm using my non-dominant hand. So if I do the application a little bit slower, that is why. But basically I'm going to start off with my clean and prep natural nails and now I'm going in with a dehydrator to prep the natural nail surface. And for this manicure I'm going to be using my Kimber's Creations Dip Powder Base Coat Liquid as well as my Peppy French White Dip Powder as a base. And for these water decals to work best, these specific ones I found look the best over white, especially to see the bright Louis Vuitton colors on top, so that is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm starting off with my regular dip powder application, so that means I'm applying a nice thin layer of base to the entire nail, and then I'm dipping into the powder and tapping off any excess. And for this specific white shade, I actually did three coats, and I only showed two coats on camera just to speed up the time, but I did end up doing three coats to get full opacity. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up the first and second coat of this white powder, and then I will be right back. Alright, so here are the nails with two coats of powder, and then here are the nails with three, just so you can see the slight difference. And now I'm going to be going in with my Dipwell Base and Finish Powder, which is a clear, and I'm going to go ahead and clear encapsulate the white, just to make sure I don't file off any of the pigment when filing and buffing. So I'm applying a nice thin layer of base once again, and then dipping into the clear powder to seal in the color underneath. Then once I'm done clear encapsulating, I'm brushing off any excess powder, and now I'm going in with my Kimber's Creations Activator to harden up all of the powder layers, and I'm going to apply two generous layers of this to all of my nails to harden up the powder and make it ready for filing. And after letting the activator dry for about two minutes or so, I went ahead and filed and buffed off camera, and now I'm brushing off any excess dust. And here are the Pashi Nail Designs decals I'm going to be using. This design is the I do it for the LV pattern and basically there is just a ton of different colored Louis Vuitton logos and I think that this set is absolutely stunning and totally perfect if you want a designer and bougie look on your nails. So all I'm going to do is take a small scissors and individually cut out each pattern for each nail and this is just going to make the application process a little bit easier. And you want to go ahead and cut around the design as close as possible and to fit your nail as best as you can just to make sure that you don't have a ton of excess to clean up later. Now I do recommend leaving a little bit extra just to be sure the design covers the entire nail um, but you don't want to have too much excess to where it's excessive. So here I'm just fitting it to my nail to see if I have enough design. And then I'm going to place it in the water for about 10 seconds. And in order to get the decal to stick to my nail, I'm going to apply a layer of a sticky base coat. And this is just going to help the water decal adhere. 
So after letting it sit in the water for about 15 to 20 seconds, it slides off super easy and I just take a tweezer and gently place it on the nail where I want it. And this is a little bit tricky at first, but it does get easier with practice and overall it's a super easy and fun way to get really beautiful designs on your nails. So then I'm just taking a dry makeup sponge and pressing down on the nail and this is going to help the decal curve to the natural shape of my finger. And then with a small brush dipped in pure acetone, I'm going around the edges to melt the decal and take off any excess. And this will also help the decal adhere around the cuticle area and sidewalls to make sure it doesn't peel off later. And I also take the brush and melt down the tip to make sure it sticks properly. And now I'm just going to be repeating that process one more time for my middle nail. So I'm doing the exact same steps as before, making sure I apply my sticky base coat to get a really good adhesion, peeling off the decal from the backing, setting it on my makeup sponge to take off any excess water, and then placing it on the nail where I am happy with it, and pressing down with the makeup sponge. Now I did end up having some wrinkles in the nail um, where the decal didn't exactly lay flat and I'm definitely getting better at this technique. Mind you, this is my first time ever trying this brand or water decals for that matter, so I am still learning, but I find that this was the best method for me to get the desired effect. So now I'm just going to wrap up the other nails off camera. So here are what they all look like together. I think they look absolutely stunning. And here is an up close look, so you can see there is some slight texture, but it does get smoothed out with the top coat. So now I'm going to be sealing in my design with the Gershon No Wipe Gel Top Coat. So I'm applying a nice thin layer to all of my nails, making sure to wrap the free edge to make sure the decal stays put. And then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds once I'm happy with the application. And once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my favorite candy skincare cuticle oil. And here is the finished design I was able to create using the Pashi Nail Designs Water Decals. So I absolutely love this brand and their decals. They are super easy to use and it is a great way to create some fun designs on your nails. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Manny Monday episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.